Hi. What going on? Today I will tell you about Champion Chinaman. Chinaman was born on November 29, 1977 to a female Abernathy's Molly and a male Woods Trouble. He came to the new owner Vince infected with worms. His weight was below the limit. Vince brought out the worms and organized a roll. It took them three hours to get to the venue of the roll. After the road, Chinaman vomited. He was dehydrated. His opponent on the roll was the champion Caesar. The opponent's weight was 10 pounds more than Chinaman's weight. Almost the whole roll of Chinaman lay under Caesar. When Caesar was tired, Chinaman bit into opponent's leg. He could get up and knock down his opponent, despite the fact that Chinaman's weight was less, and he felt bad because of the road. He stopped the champion Caesar in the 28th minute. The next roll was against Doc Bonacrusher. It was enough for the Chinaman to hold out for 10 minutes. Doc went on the attack and tucked it in the corner. Chinaman ripped open his belly and killed him in 17 minutes. Now it was clear that Chinaman was a special dog. The first two matches he won against two dogs that worked in the head. The opponents thought they could subdue Chinaman, who worked in the belly and leg. Like the former opponents, they did not stand for more than 30 minutes. The third match was with Grace Hubcap, who knocked out the famous Red Danger in a two-hour match. The owner and the Chinaman got to the match for seven hours. By this time, the bets were five to one against them. During the match, Chinaman pinned the opponent in the corner and after 18 minutes became the champion. This scared the other pitmen. In the country suddenly disappeared dogs weighing 45 to 46 pounds. The most respected pitman hid from Chinaman like the plague. This continued until he was seven years old. And only then did the guys appear who decided to risk putting their dog against him. They bought a dog working in the head. Chinaman won it in 38 min. It was his longest match. For those who saw Chinaman in combat, he was the toughest fighter, a real knockout. He had the stamina of a greyhound. To this it remains to add that those who saw him in action claimed that he had a mouth like an alligator. He was very clever. Putting them out of action was what his matches were all about. Like all great dogs, Chinaman was a muscular athlete with good genes. His name is found in many of today's pedigrees. His contribution as a producer is equal to, or even surpasses, his achievements as a fighter. Among his more popular descendants, such as Champion 8-Ball Champion Cotton, Champion Chinabic, Champion China Girl, Champion Stormy, Champion Missy, Champion Chinaris, Champion Ninja and Champion Croc. He had three sons Brats Boar, Cottingham's Cotton and Shockley's Header, who exceeded the three-hour mark in one weekend day's matches. Of course, his great contribution was to become the father of Frisco which gave more champions and grand champions.